We often talk about the largest pharaopods in North America or South America. However, there was another continent with giant pharaopods and that was Africa. And today we will talk about one of these African giants, namely Kakarodontosaurus, the shark tooth lizard. Carcarodontosaurus saharicus stood at the top of the food chain in North Africa during stages of the Middle and Late Cretaceous period. It lived in the Alban and Cenomanian stages of the Cretaceous in Algeria, Morocco, Egypt, Niger, Tunisia and potentially even Brazil. Carcarodontosaurus was the type member and namesake of the Carcarodontosauridae family, the most well-known subgroup of Allosauroidea. They evolved into the biggest predators of all time. And when I say the biggest, I mean the number of heavyweight Carcarodontosaurs in the main group and subgroups like the Giganotosaurini. In this regard, other dinosaur groups like Tyrannosaurids or Spinosaurids couldn't compete. And since Carcarodontosaurus was the namesake of its family, it must have been quite impressive. Carcarodontosaurus was first described in 1925 as Megalosaurus saharicus. At that time, many pharaopods were mistakenly identified as Megalosaurus. In 1931, the German paleontologist Ernst Stromer re-described the predator as Carcarodontosaurus saharicus. Unfortunately, the fossilized bones of Carcarodontosaurus were destroyed during the bombing of Munich in World War II in 1944. However, the American paleontologist Paul Zerino discovered another specimen of Carcarodontosaurus in Morocco. Its skull was longer but also narrower compared to that of Tyrannosaurus. Carcarodontosaurus was a predator that killed its prey not by bone crushing like the T-Rex but by using its razor sharp teeth. Carcarodontosaurus reached a length of 12 meters or 39 feet and weighed over 6 metric tons. What also distinguished Carcarodontosaurids from Tyrannosaurids were the long and presumably more useful arms. However, its most significant weapon was its teeth, of which it had about 32. Its relatively weak bite force was compensated by its sharp teeth. These teeth were so sharp that a bite from Carcarodontosaurus would cause a gaping wound leading to fatal blood loss for its prey. In other words, Carcarodontosaurus could slice through almost anything that got between its teeth. Paleontologists believe that Carcarodontosaurus' hunting strategy involved pursuing its prey. It would ambush its prey, chase it down and ideally deliver a bite. A bite from Carcarodontosaurus would leave a gaping wound causing aggressive bleeding, shocking the prey and make it drop quickly. Among its likely prey was Uranosaurus, a type of Iguanodontia that could move on both two and four legs. Uranosaurus reached a length of 7 to 8 meters or 23 to 26 feet and a weight of 2.2 metric tons. Size-wise it was probably the ideal target for Carcarodontosaurus. Now, we've heard about dinosaurs that were prey for Carcarodontosaurus, but who could compete with it? Spinosaurus could be one answer since fossils of both Spino and Carcarodontosaurus have been found in Morocco. However, these predators probably avoided each other and did not engage in direct conflict because they occupied different niches. Spinosaurus was likely a river hunter while Carcarodontosaurus was a fully terrestrial hunter. Nonetheless, these two predators alone made these ecosystems one of the most dangerous of all time. Furthermore, there is another potential megapredator who roamed these lands. This giant was the Bahoriosaurus, who's also been synonymized with Delta Dromius. Unfortunately, fossils of this animal are very fragmentary. There were also smaller pharaopods like Rugops primus, a 5 meter or 16.4 feet long predator from the Belisaurid clade. Abelisaurids were widespread during the Cretaceous, but often underestimated by many. The largest dinosaur in the area was probably Parali Titan. Parali Titan means Titan of the Tidal Zone. The species Epiphet stromeri comes from the well-known paleontologist Ernst Stromer. This 26 meter or 85.6 feet long Titan belonged to the Titanosauria family. Parali Titan could weigh up to 59 metric tons. Adult and healthy Parali Titan were probably never hunted by any pharaopod. 
Several Kakarodontosaurs, namely Mapiosaurus, have been found in one place, suggesting that at least some could have hunted in packs or more likely unorganized groups. Flash grazing would have likely been the most common hunting method when taking on sauropods. It's not impossible that Kakarodontosaurus hunted sauropods in unorganized groups. However, it's always hard to tell when you don't have definitive evidence. Carcarodontosaurus was one of the most dangerous dinosaurs of all time and the top predator in its ecosystem during the Albion to the Sandomanian stage of the Cretaceous. Until this era, Tyrannosaurs never or rarely reached sizes much larger than an average raptor, while Carcarodontosaurus often reached lengths comparable to a minibus. Many paleontologists believe that the extinction of Carcharodontosaurus in North America allowed Tyrannosaurus to thrive, grow impressively large and fill ecological niches. This is a theory about what might have happened and about the consequences after Carcharodontosaurus and his family members went extinct. However, we don't have precise evidence of this. Carcharodontosaurus North Africa and the Albion and Sanomanian stages of the Cretaceous and was a predator that left a legacy like few others. Nevertheless, even the great Carcharodontosaurus eventually became extinct. That concludes the video about Carcharodontosaurus. To stay updated with the channel, feel free to subscribe and activate the bell. And with that, have a good day or evening. Goodbye.